the foundation of all good qualities by Lama Tsongkhapa. The foundation of all qualities is the kind and venerable guru. Correctly devoting to him is the root of the path. By clearly seeing this and applying great effort, please bless me to rely upon him with great respect. Understanding that the precious freedom of this rebirth is found only once is greatly meaningful and difficult to find again. Please bless me to generate the mind that is unceasingly, day and night, takes its essence. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it decays and death comes. After death, just like a shadow follows the body, the results of black and white karma follow. Finding firm the definite conviction in this, please bless me always to be careful, to abandon even the slightest negativities, and accomplish all virtuous deeds. Seeking samsaric pleasures is not the door, is the door to all suffering. They are uncertain and can't be relied upon. Recognizing these shortcomings, please bless me to generate the strong wish for the, desire, the bliss of liberation. Led by this pure thought, mindfulness, alertness, and great caution arise. The root of teachings is keeping the pratimocha vows. Please bless me to accomplish this essential practice. Just as I have fallen into the sea of samsara, so have all mother migratory beings. Bless me to see this, train in supreme bodhicitta, and bear the responsibility of freeing migratory beings. By clearly recognizing that developing bodhicitta, without practicing the three types of morality, I will not achieve enlightenment. Please bless me to practice the bodhisattva vows with great energy. By pacifying distractions, wrong objects, and correctly analyzing the meaning of reality, please bless me to generate quickly within my mind stream the unified path of calm abiding and special insight. Having become a pure vessel by training in the general path, please bless me to enter the holy gateway of the fortunate ones, the supreme Vajra vehicle. At that time, the basis of accomplishing the two attainments is keeping pure vows in Samaya. Having become firmly convinced of this, please bless me to protect those vows and pledges like my life. Then, having realized the importance of the two stages, which are the essence of Vajrayana, by practicing with great energy, never giving up the four sessions, please bless me to realize the teachings of the Holy Guru. Like that, May the gurus who show the noble path and the spiritual friends who practice it have long lives. Please bless me to pacify completely all outer and inner hindrances. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus. May I enjoy the magnificent dharma by completing the qualities of the stages and path. May I quickly attain the state of Vajradhara. Very good. Um, welcome today. Geshe Damshan and I are going to make some remarks about um, Dharma and entering the path and taking refuge. Um, how's the sound system working? Okay, good. <laughs> so, I'd uh, like to thank those donors and benefactors over the last couple of years who have uh, continually um, supported our upgrade of technology. So um, I think we're on our, our third set of microphones <laughs> which, and uh, speakers, and it's um, and now we can you know, have sophisticated um, video system. It's really wonderful. Um, so I appreciate that a lot. <clears throat> So uh, this, the foundation of all qualities, um, uh, even though it uh, has the title of, you know, talks about guru yoga, it's it's like a full lamrim, full stage of the path, you know. Um, so it's it's a wonderful thing. I'd like to do it every time we do refuge, and it's an important text. Um, some people uh, uh, memorize, you know, foundation of all good qualities, actually. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I I think it's okay if you uh, 
you know, uh, take the text home with you, right? So, uh, so generally, if, if you don't take it home, then I'm just giving a little Dharma education, then we don't put it on the floor, leave it on the seat. You just pass it to the umze, pass it to um, Jules. But if you take it home, then just fold it in nice little fours or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know just keep it clean and then, you know, uh, and it'll be, it'll be uh, useful for you, right? Foundation, all good qualities. Yeah. <clears throat> so today we're doing two ceremonies. Um, uh, the, the first uh, ceremony will be um, what's called entering the path. <clears throat> and uh, that that ceremony evolved from uh, um, thoughts I had and thoughts talking to my senior students um, that uh, taking the refuge practice that that we do here is like a big, maybe huge step, really big step, um, because um, uh, the uh, Shakyamuni sadhana we read out is very tantric with all kinds of Buddhists and Bodhisattvas and visualizing your teacher in a certain way. And on top of that, um, we give the five precepts, right? Um, I, I don't know, I'd, like, I'd be curious, but maybe one of the few American lamas that has people do the five precepts, but it's worked, you know, it's worked. It's worked here. Um, because uh, in our tradition, I don't know how we can, you, it takes so much concentration and energy just to sit quietly doing shine, shamatha, right? So for those people that have um, had the blessings to take some tantric impairments from Jada Rimshe and all the other wonderful teachers come, um, uh, there's no way you can have a cloudy mind, right? And, and accomplish any of it, right? There's no way we can wake up with a hangover or there's no way we can, um, we, we want as clear a mind as possible, don't we? So let's make it easy on ourselves, right? We don't have to um, cloud the mind with you know, um, unnecessary intoxicants or ill will or speech. So my experience has been when um, people coming here when they've been prepared to take tantric empowerments and they take them seriously and hold the samayas with um, the teachers and I'm really proud of you guys but I want people to be prepared so the many people that have come and that we're coming from a secular scientific psychological society aren't we and um, that's that's how we start we just want to we're not thinking necessarily want to become Buddhist, we just want to be free of suffering, which is how everybody met the Buddha. They just didn't say, I want to be a Buddhist. They just said, I want to be free of suffering. How do I do it? So um, the ceremony is to recognize that um, you, you don't have to um, me immediately accept things that you haven't shown to be true for yourself, but that you can start doing Dharma practice based on what you know about suffering, what you know about yourself, what you know about the need for liberation right now. You can attend the meditation sessions we have now, or um, maybe have four or five, uh, just meditation, right? So um, I'm calling that our secular Dharma program. And um, last year, Geshe Tupintashi was here, gave a very rousing talk on secular dharma, right? So <clears throat> uh, a few people have decided, okay, I want to be recognized that I'm, uh, I'm entering the path, I'm exploring, I'm giving it a try without saying uh, promises <laughs> and without me trying to say promises, right? So um, uh, that's in the true spirit of Dharma where we're saying, you know, just, it's not pressure. We're just come see if it works for you. Right. But with sincerity. So I want to recognize those people that say, I really want to practice. I'm still exploring my relationship with the lamas, with Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, but I really seriously want to be here. Or maybe I never want to become Buddhist, but I want to, I want to practice the open meditation techniques. I want to practice mindfulness and kindness. It's a good idea, right? So, uh, 
I, I like the quote sometimes from uh, Jack Kornfield from Spirit Rock, you know, don't be Buddhist, be Buddhist. Okay. <laughs> if it helps you to take Buddhist vows and to associate with this tradition, then fine, you know, but uh, we, we, we want you to be awake and kind uh, because our, as advanced students know that there's no sign out there in space that says emptiness, right? <laughs> you know, that, so uh, we become inner people. So that um, saying that, I want to turn the microphone over to Geshe Damchala and mention that um, in just um, nine or ten days, Geshe will be flying to India to um, attend teachings and participate at Guto Monastery in Dharamsala, um, which is a really big step. Um, so he'll be gone ten months, maybe. Um, We'll miss him, but it's fantastic. So uh, Geshe's journey here has been really incredible. I just want to remind people that, um, you know, uh, you know, Balsan approached me and says, hey, I have a friend that would be really good for you guys. <laughs> and I said, OK, so um, started coming like just tourist visa and then green card and then um, now United States citizen, it's a big step, you know, uh, establishing uh, Zana Bazaar, establishing Dona Darge, you know, so, um, you know, Yeshua has really, you know, uh, established, you know, like, I'm responsible for two Dharma centers. Maybe more, I don't know. <laughs> like that. So um, going to Tantra College is um, a big deal. Um, uh, you know, learning many of the ceremonies and the rituals and uh, in detail uh, takes a lot of concentration and drive. It's different than just the scholastic studies at Sarah J. It's um, you know full immersion and uh, doing um, practices that could last all day and all night. So um, maybe the next this next week will be his last week of really good sleep. <laughs> so I like that. So please, if you'd like to say something about refuge and dharma, Geshla. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, but today, <coughs> actually, Lama Lama is giving to a long time give to the report ceremony. Uh, United States actually not too many. Some uh, lamas, uh, Western uh, teachers, and give to in report. Reproach actually is in the, all in your students and lay people is very helpful in life. We are in the reproach ceremony. Reproach you have, oh, I have percepts, right? No wrong way, no uh, bad action is no, no working. It's very helpful. It's uh, in, uh, all self and all in the mind. And I think so. <clears throat> Lama like giving, then you know, lots give to all the. Is, Certain being, I think, in the Western students, right? Mm. Actually, in the, uh, uh, I think so, in the, um, Thailand and Bhutan, all in lay people in the refuge. And whoever giving to in the masters can give in uh, uh, refuge. Refuge in is, uh, some uh, country, Buddhist countries, oh, it's very helpful in uh, refuge. And our now in Westerns now is, is coming and new traditional and the Buddhist community, Buddhist people and helping now is in the long term in alliance us and Lama like give to in refuging. <clears throat> now this day, a very important, a good day. This in the spring in the first month 
uh, 2,600 years before the Buddha, uh, um, uh, first spring, first day, uh, and uh, on the eighth day in debate, debate in all the religion, some uh, master is a very eight day is a very uh, Buddha Shakyamuni is in debate. And, uh, and 15 days before, some people and uh, Buddha, after enlightened, some people looking, oh, Buddha, who are you? Who's the, how about who, what do you uh, uh, educate? What do you, he is in better power? And some people is very checking, right? Uh, Buddha is sent to his, uh, some people later, oh, Buddha is, we are in the debating. We are talk, what is your nose? And Buddha, oh, wait, wait, wait. You uh, little wait. I uh, I talk to your schedule. <laughs> Buddha said. That Buddha said in waiting in the spring, first day. Yeah, okay. Uh, the spring, uh, first day. And until the eighth day, uh, Buddha in, uh, make the schedule. And all in uh, master and gurus. <clears throat> Indian is a lot of very high people in making the schedule. And, after and first and uh, uh, other religion people and coming, Buddha is uh, one day, one day in uh, Buddha make to uh, make to is very magic, right? Uh, one day and uh, uh, people are checking out, uh, Buddha is in, uh, in skin, lots of flowers, lots of flowers. Some people, oh, why do you need in lots of flowers, right? This in very magic in the, the master in Tibet, in 80, and after master goes, and after, hey, Buddha, you is a very enlightened, very magic, magic guy. And after his Buddha is students, in eight day after, in seven days, a very big ceremony. And Puja is meeting, and Buddha is in the teaching, is in the 15 days, and the, and eight day in debate, after in top and Buddha offer all people offer to in Buddha and puja and ceremony and eating in very special day. And after in uh, uh, this uh, traditional very town, I very too many years. And Buddha Zongkoba is looking for history. Uh, and whose history is in Buddha is now in the spring in 15 days, very important day, in eight day debate after ceremony, in traditional in, in Tibet. Tibetan in 15 days in very big puja. There was the magic, oh, magic in Tibetan, what? Chotul, yeah. right? Chotul, magic, magic, right? Chotul, Tibetan Chotul Molom, right? Maybe I the easy is magic. <laughs> magic Molom. <laughs> Right, <laughs> this is a good day today in uh, 13th, 13th, right? Uh, uh, 13 days, very good day, a very good merit. And whoever in uh, refuge uh, we are taking in a very important uh, day, very important whoever uh, take, take you in, who is in Lama, a very good temple, and our traditional in refuge ceremonies. Uh, now, we are a long time give you students and very good. Thank you, you are all. Mm. Uh, now I go into in, uh, India. India is in, going to Gyudha Monastery. Gyudha Monastery all is in Tantric studying. We're studying someday and all in nine months already scheduled. Someday puja, someday retreat. And, and our almost we are studying in Buddha. No, no, it's in Guru Samaja. Sawandua. Sawandua is in commentaries, and how about to meditate, how about to, he lots arm, lots air, I don't know, right? <laughs> now he's studying in uh, half time. Yeah. And I think so, this uh, uh, foundation all of good qualities, and Buddha Zonka was in this book in very short, very important, it's actually it's very short lambda. Listen, now Lama said, you are in, uh, maybe it's in wall. In tech. Oh, it's in looking, it's maybe one day in the read and one stanza, right? 
one day, one day stands as a little bit thinking and memorizing, very helpful. I am in the foundation Tibetan is every day in the morning and reading and meditate. It's very helpful. Alignment and Vajay and after, right? Uh, may I quickly attend to state to Vajadara. This and uh, alignment and after Vajadara is very too good. Uh, alignment and very quality, very good book. Maybe it is every day you uh, reading is very helpful. Yeah. Thank you. Today is very good day. <laughs> It is very auspicious that we're doing this during the um, 15 days of miracle. So uh, we're calling this our Mon Lam. Um, Geshe referenced Lama Tsongkhapa and uh, he began many things, but uh, the Mon Lam festival, uh, everybody participated. And um, some people may be aware, like there are there still are huge butter sculptures made, right? Huge tormas and um, uh, it's a renewal of vows and renewal of dedication uh, to the practice. <clears throat> Inspired by Shakyamuni's willingness to um, uh, talk, engage in dialogue. So uh, many teachers and here contemporary too, they just say, well, I'm doing my thing, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to dialogue with you. I don't want to work with others. So Shakyamuni says, I'm willing to talk about how we do the practice. I'm willing to say how I got where I'm going. I'm willing to tell you my techniques. So sometimes when we say debate or we say he's showing miracles, we think it's some kind of, um, we're thinking he's some, some kind of fight, you know, or um, he's not, um, you know, playing fair or something. But the miracles in this sense is like um, uh, the Terton Jigmi Lingpa said, the most profound miracle is what? Turning one negative thought to a positive thought. That's the most profound, right? So um, the Buddha, when you say miracles, it, it had in, in India at the time, then he was meeting people where they were. They needed to see the world as vivid and beautiful. So he manifested flowers. They needed to see him as worthy and they needed to be confident. So he demonstrated power. So these are all skillful means, you know, so we have these miracles called, you know, this thing right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, and just remark, like Gishla mentioned, of course, that uh, Guto be studying uh, Guyas Maja, so um, secret assembly in English. So, um, this is uh, sometimes called King of Tantras. I like people to know what you're doing, right? So that's why I'm giving a little explanation, right? I want to know. So in there, there's um, Lama Tsongkhapa, a very detailed explanation, you know, very famous commentary. So like just this is how it, you do it. Uh, very straightforward. And uh, because it's a difficult Tantra, right? Um, it's from this Tantra that um, the uh, concept and practice of the five Buddha families is, is really talked about. So those of us who many years ago were fortunate to get uh, full uh, Wang, the full empowerment from uh, Chodan Rinpoche, you know, I know Ellen was there, Susan, not Grace, maybe you don't, <laughs> yeah, but uh, that was very powerful time. So um, I'm not asking Geshe to come back and give teachings on Grace Samantha, but in the future, it might be nice to say a few words. Yeah, just overview for people, right? So it's very traditional when teacher goes to retreat or goes to learning, say, please come back and um, give us teachings, share what, you know, so I'm making formal request to Geshe Damchala now to come back, give teachings. Please come back and give teachings. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> 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 We'll, we'll give them a week to rest. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, so um, I wanted the people that are entering the path, um, uh, you know, all, all who 
if you're all here to um, come forward, who's who's entering the path? Dylan, yeah, and Jose, good. Very good. So I can come and present kata. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. And then and present to Gishla too. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, offer to Gishla too. I just stand off to the side a little bit. We're going to talk about you. <laughs> yeah. Just like this. You got to stand a little better. Did this. And then please offer to Geshe Tamshla. <clears throat> please stand over here so that. <clears throat> so. Uh, uh, Maybe look at each other. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I know Dylan a little bit. You know, he's been really um, uh, a big help, particularly with IT and um, just showing up and being just very friendly. You know, it's it's amazing. So um, it's not amazing he's being friendly, but it's just amazing we can show up and be friendly, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and just say, I just want to be part of a community and add to it. And, um, uh, you know, just, just want to be of help, right? It's amazing. So that, that part is, is, is why he's entering the path and, and learning. And uh, as he comes along, then uh, I'll learn from him too, right? Yeah. So, um, You know, we met this Tuesday nights, you're coming to meditate, right? I think so. Yeah. So um, I like people to, you know, enter the path also through meditation. Some people come through service and meditation. Some people just coming first through meditation where people are willing to make friends with themselves and willing to be in a group. It's the foundation, right? You know, just willing to be with, what more compliment can we say? I'm willing to be with, myself and I'm willing to be with others. You know, just I'm willing to sit with you, right? As chaplain people know, like uh, Susan and Ellen, like one of the greatest gifts is just, would you like me to stay with you? Would you like me to be present for you? You know, so um, just just sitting quietly, not um, not being a problem, <laughs> not being annoyed, that we're making the world better, don't you think? Yeah. So, um, I'd like to present both of you with um, entering the path, for sure. <laughs> what do we call it? What do we call it? Booklet? Okay. So, um, uh, in this booklet has uh, Shakyamuni uh, sayings, the creed, precepts, eightfold path, the seals, the four immeasurables, friendship, interdependence, and um, uh, reflection I said about um, secular Buddhism. So I'm just going to read that. Is okay? All right. Secular Buddha Dharma is where we all start. Because we start from our present situation, our life is as we find ourselves. We start with compassion, the wish and activity to free ourselves and others mm -hmm. from pain and suffering. 
Therefore, the foundation of our life and our journey is compassion. Secular Buddhism is the fundamental, the foundation, because it doesn't start with beliefs or hierarchy, rituals or tradition, but with our actual lived experience. This is not a different form of Buddha Dharma that is new or opposed to the sacred approach. No, it is where all Dharma starts and where it ends. In our shared connection with each other, all beings, our planet and universe. So the questions um, that, you know, I'd like you to reflect, well, and everybody here, what are the best ways to train ourselves in compassionate connection? What concrete and practical activities must we undertake? How do we create a compassionate community? So um, <laughs> we have this, this is the main, this is the heavy duty ritual. So um, we, we typed up, and we're gonna give to refugees too. <laughs> This is it. Welcome to Lion's Roar, where we learn to enrich our lives, explore new practices and ideas without rejecting where we came from. Your Dharma job is. So, <laughs> so um, you know, we're, we're kind of innovative. So, um, you know, some of you already have, you know, Dylan already has many Dharma jobs, but um, uh, you could write the same one down or you could add to it. But um, we're, we're all here because we've contributed something and we all have something of value to offer. So, um, you know, you can, you know, scribble on that and think about it this week and then we'll hold you to it forever. Okay. <laughs> do, you, do you guys want to say a word before you sit down? No. no. Okay. Just say thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. You may take your seats. Okay. <laughs> Yay! 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 That's good. <clears throat> so um, now uh, all of us should have or on the um, on the screen. Um, you know what what i'm calling the refuge ceremony which includes a um a practice text um centered around uh shakyamuni buddha um uh this uh um this is um enhancement or modification of of a text that um uh geshe wangyal um put together geshe wangyal was really the first uh, Lama to come to the United States. Um, uh, of course, Geshe Damchil knows he was Mongolian and a great scholar and a fantastic teacher who um, taught many of the um, Westerners who became scholars and translators. Probably most famous is um, Bob Thurman, right? So Uncle Bob and uh, uh, he inspired a number of other different translators and um, you know he was an incredibly dynamic teacher so I was on our Geshe Wangyal you know when I think about this um, uh, text in sadhana so do we have it do we have it up okay so we, we just read it out together and then at the end we're um, going to present people's uh, names and haircutting and so forth Are we ready? I'll, I'll read it through. That's fine. Give your voice a rest. Yeah. Visualize your father on your right side and your mother on your left. Surrounding you, imagine the innumerable sentient beings of the six realms. Realize that all sentient beings are your kind mothers of past and future lives and that they suffer just as you do. Then generate deep compassion for them and think. I must attain the high state of Buddhahood in order to help all these beings. Now that you've produced a special virtuous mind, visualize the field of assembly. Imagine in the vast sky before you a jeweled throne, which is high and wide, supported by the eight great lions. Upon it is a cushion that is a mandala of multicolored lotus, moon, and sun. Seated upon this is your own root teacher, appearing as Shakyamuni Buddha. His body is the color of purified gold, and he has a crown protuberance upon his head. 
His right hand is touching the earth and his left is in the gesture of meditative equipoise. Upon it is a begging bowl filled with the nectar blessings. His body is beautifully covered with the three saffron colored religious robes of a monk. He sits cross-legged in the middle of an aura of light. In his heart is Vajradhara Buddha and in Vajradhara's heart is the blue home radiating light. Behind Shakyamuni Buddha is another lion throne with a cushion of lotus, moon, and sun, upon which Vajradhara is seated, surrounded by teachers belonging to the lineage of the blessing of practice. On Shakyamuni Buddha's right is Maitreya, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of extensive deeds, and on his left is Manjushri, surrounded by teachers in the lineage of profound view. In front of Shakyamuni Buddha sits your gracious root teacher, just as you see him when receiving his teachings. He is surrounded by the teachers with whom you have a religious connection, those in direct lineage from Buddha down to your own root teacher. Encircling them are first the assemblies of Buddha, devas, and then in turn the Buddhas, bodhisattvas, self-enlightened ones, hearers, heroines, heroines, protectors of the Dharma and other wisdom deities. In front of each on a jeweled stand, their own religious teachings appear as volumes of scripture whose nature is light. Inconceivable manifestations of each of the assembly radiate in the ten directions, subduing all sentient beings according to their capacities. Envision that the entire assembly is gazing at you with great joy. Next recite, I go for refuge to the Buddha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth in the bodies of all the Buddhas, including Vajradhara and others. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all other beings, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the body, speech, and mind of the Buddhas have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Buddhas. Then recite, I go for refuge to the Dharma, Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the scriptures. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Dharma have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Dharma, then recite, I go for refuge to the Sangha. <clears throat> Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of the assembly of wisdom beings, protectors of the Dharma, heroes, heroines, self-enlightened ones, hearers, and bodhisattvas. As these streams enter the bodies and mind of yourself and all others, they purify everyone from all the defilements. After considering that the blessings of the Sangha have entered you and all others think, we have come under the protection of the Sangha. All the objects of refuge then say, we are your protectors, refuge, and allies, ready to deliver you from the suffering of cyclic existence. As they recite this clearly, promising to help you, rejoice. Thus, with deep prayer and with tears pouring forth from your eyes and the hairs of your body standing on end, go for refuge. After you have gone for refuge in this way, go for refuge to conjoining it with the generation of the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. Just as a warrior in a fierce battle wishes to protect not only himself, but also his relatives and friends, so you should chiefly think of the needs of sentient beings. Recite, I go for refuge and tell enlightenment to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Sincerely reciting this prayer causes streams of nectar to flow forth from the bodies of all the members of the field of assembly. As these streams enter the bodies and minds of yourself and all others and purify everyone from all defilements, the bodies of all are transformed into pure, clear light. All merit, lifespan, and all the knowledge of both aspects of the Dharma are expanded and increased in everyone. Think, the blessings of the three jewels have entered myself and others. Now meditate deeply on generating the altruistic aspiration for enlightenment. A duplicate form of Shakyamuni Buddha enters your body and you become Shakyamuni Buddha. Rays of light emanate from your transformed body and strike all sentient beings who have all been your mother and father, purifying them of their defilements and alleviating their suffering. Visualize the mantra in a circle around your heart. Tayata O Muni Muni Maha Muni Esoha. Tayata O Muni Muni Maha Muni Esoha. Tayata O Muni Muni.
I had the whole money, money, my whole money is so hard. I think I'm establishing them in the high state of Shakyamuni Buddha. So now, now we take uh, the precepts. So we all get to take it again, together again, don't we? Yeah. Having taken refuge, we pledge to uphold the five precepts in order to support our Dharma practice and the Dharma practice of others. We take the five precepts. I undertake the precept of refraining from killing. I undertake the precept of refraining from stealing. I undertake the precept of refraining from lying. I undertake the precept of refraining from sexual misconduct. I undertake the precept of refraining from alcohol. I acknowledge each and every misdeed. I rejoice in the virtue of living beings. I hold in my mind the thought and enlightenment of the Buddha. To the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, I go for refuge until enlightenment in order to fully accomplish the purposes of others. I will generate the aspiration for enlightenment. At the end of the session, envision a ray of light radiating from Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha then melts into the space between our two eyebrows. Imagine you have received the blessing of all the field of assembly. Can we do two minutes? <clears throat> On the site, after generating the superior aspiration, I will cherish all sentient beings and perform the beautiful highest deeds of enlightenment. May I achieve Buddhahood to help sentient beings. Very good. So this is um, uh, a practice we can do. I do it. Um, so sometimes after people take refuge, they go, I don't know what to do. So I said, well, don't, you know, you're supposed to take this home, right? So um, this has so much in it to keep our practice strong and, um, you know, take the precepts regularly for ourselves in front of the, um, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha and one's teachers. So, um, you know, that you have at least one practice, right? So uh, years ago, I might have mentioned several times um, I had the fortune to having um, what was called a, a private audience with um, Dalai Lama. Um, well, it wasn't really private. I thought it would be kind of private. <laughs> this would be a private. And there were about 50 people there, but that was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So um, I got to say hello. And um, there were people from different Buddhist groups had been invited. And um, Dalai Lama gave a very strong talk because it can be very assertive very strong talks that you know 
So we're all students of Shakyamuni Buddha. Uh, so that's important. You know, people get lost in um, uh, different traditions and forget, okay, our teacher is Shakyamuni, right? So, uh, you know, please, please come together around, you know, these, uh, the basic Dharma practice. And of course, he respects all the different styles of practice, but emphasized we would not be here if it weren't for Shakyamuni. So, um, uh, you know, due to, you know, generous benefactors, we have a beautiful, you know, Shakyamuni here, right? So, um, the, the wonderful teachers that have evolved, um, you know, Gurumshe and Yeshit Sogyal and Song Kappa and Atisha and um, present Dalai Lama, you know, we're all tracing our um, lineage back to this person that made a big sacrifice and worked very hard. So we can be here today. Yay. So like that. <clears throat> we're uh, we're going to do the, bring people forward now. So uh, refugees get ready. And then after the ceremony, um, I think the weather's still good, right? So we can go out and do the blessing for the Dharma Chakra. Just a little bit on that is that um, personally, I feel like, okay, now we're really a real temple. Because <laughs> of course we always have been, but uh, that's, the, that's the real emblem of Dharma, the Dharma wheel, right? And then of course, it symbolizes the Buddha's first teaching at Deer Park, right? So the deers are, you know, kind of bowing to the Dharma wheel, right? Maybe they even bowed when the Shakyamuni came, you know, just like this. <laughs> so, uh, you know, thank you for Digeshi Damshla for, you know, finding this um, in Mongolia, right? Yeah, so, you know, Dharma store in Mongolia. So still some people want to go to Mongolia, you know, for uh, pilgrimage. Who wants to go when Geshla is ready to go? Raise your hand. Yay, okay. So good. Okay, so uh, Adam, you're here, so please come forward. to Geshe-la This is my favorite part. Right? <laughs> so, uh, we're Many refuge ceremonies are very long, actually. So um, this is, people should know this is kind of abbreviated, right? So um, many times, um, you know, people have to do things three times, you know, um, or nine times bows. So you're off, you know, you're getting it short, but um, your motivation is strong, so you're here. But one thing I always want to ask people is, do you know what you're doing and are you here of your own free will? Yes. Yeah, good. All right, good. So the haircutting symbolically is that we're, you know, saying we're we're leaving, we're leaving samsara. It's just symbolic. So we're developing uh you know, definite emergence. Sometimes that's translated for uh Neijung. I don't know if my Tibetan is very good. Neijung sounds good, right? Yes. Yeah, good. So means we're we're making a definite decision like i'm i'm going to 
uh, use my freedoms and advantages of human birth to, to wake up and benefit others, right? So we're not just doing stress reduction meditation or guided imagery, right? We're, we're making a profound change, you know, in our lives so we can be a benefit to others. That makes sense, right? Okay. So uh, having done that, so I'm going to take a really big piece of your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little like that. Oh my heart. So that's good. Like so. So um, um this is also a card with you know reminders. So it's good to every once in a while, you know, some people put it on their altar so or so they can look at it every once in a while. Um because from time to time I'll ask people as they know, like What's your refuge name? So <laughs> remember it, right? And then people go, I can't believe it. This is so funny. This is just so American. Like, I don't know, Lama, what is it? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Go look it up, OK? So what do you mean? I'm not some vending machine, you know? So, <laughs> so you won't forget. No, I will not. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, for refuge, giving you Yeshi Rapton, you know, Rapton uh, means, you know, steadfast. And Yeshi means like primordial knowledge, you know, from Jnana, the Sanskrit. So I like the term, you know, like there was a famous teacher who it would be good for you to um, study, Yeshi Rapton, who lived in, um, you know, uh, of course, did a lot of retreat outside Dhamsal, I think, and then went to Switzerland. Yes. So um, very great scholar and um, you know, wrote some very helpful books on like Lorig and Abhidharma. So you should check out Keshi Rabton. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you know, so really an inspiration of a really a profound practitioner, you know, worked, worked very hard, you know, like that. So um, I want you to also get blessing from Geshe Damshala. That's important, you know. I'll move over that way. Your name is memorized, right? Yeshe, like Yeshe. Yeshe. Yeah. You also know refuge name. Refuge name, Kang. Oh my, it is all changing the refuge. Oh, I have refuge, you know, it's maybe if you get up, oh, I have refuge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my name is yeah. Ishigam. It's some now it's actually in our traditional and whoever coming in refuge and ordained name we are talking. Yeah. Now it's now using years and too hard, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, maybe it's slow, so some. Refuge Sangha, and now we are small people, right? And they talk to you, hey, she like she doma, she sopa. Maybe it's easy, it's too hard, right? Rapten, easy, chocolate. Rapten, rapten, rapten. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It, it, it's interesting, um, uh, many, many times uh, in the West, um, people um, forget what impairments they took, right? I should just say a little editorial. If you forget what impairments you took, you've maybe taken too many, okay? <laughs> Seriously, you know, so, but um, we generally don't forget, you know, like our, our main refuge ceremony, right? So that's why we write down the date, you know, and um, I like to know about, you know, uh, you know, maybe we can keep track of people's dates with Patty. Yeah. So you can have, you know, recognized refuge anniversary, maybe like that. Because people remember when, you know, like at this date, at this place, with these people at this time, that's very traditional, you know, like this is, this is a start. It isn't just a vague thing. It's like, Right now, real place, real time, people as witness, right? So we keep track. So, um, Susan. Yeah. 
<laughs> Please come up. Om Mani Padme Hum. 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 Susan indicated where she'd like me to make the cut. <laughs> That's kind of a first. <laughs> I'll do it that way. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, right here. This one. <laughs> All right. There you go. You made it. Okay. Now, now, can you see like which one I took? Is it that one? Okay, yeah, that, that, very good. <clears throat> so do you know what you're doing? Yes, do. Are you here of your own free will? Yes, I am. Good. Actually, like little speeches, um, Susan, you know, took, I was met with you yesterday saying, took refuge in a heart, you know, several years ago, but because of the pandemic and, um, you know, lots of times we don't publicize when we're taking refuge. So we need to change that so we can say, Okay, the refuge ceremony is coming up in the Lions Roar newsletter. So, so she says, "What happened? No one told me." <laughs> so you you have a lot of persistence, which is great. And of course, um, everyone encounters her through her flowers, right? So <laughs> sometimes people mispronounce uh, the you know her last name, right? <laughs> so I'm always correcting that, but you know. Then sometimes I just kind of uh, give up because I say Tiara, and they go Tiara, and then I go no flowers, and <laughs> you know they do that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So <laughs> they go, oh yeah, okay, yeah, I know her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's uh, today. So Yeshe uh, Namgal. Uh, so that's that's a big name, you know. So victorious. Um, like that so um now it's a big name okay sorry it's not an easy one like like just be patient that's a hard one too by the way which is mine but um victoria so of course dalai lama's you know monastery is named namgal yeah and jada Rimshe was the abbot of namgal and i've been to namgal you know it's a big deal so do some research on on namgal you know namgal monastery so think, okay, may I, may I go visit there someday? Yeah, so please make bows to uh, Geshla too. Yeah, thank you, Susan. Actually, Susan is a long time, you check up, she's in today's the refuge, right? Yeah, yes. Yes, uh, yeah, I, that, that, that is good and true, right? You are looking for and whoever refuge, what are you refuge in this meaning? What will happen as a checkup after in refuge? That's good. Then some people in oh I refuge after in a perception too hard and downfall and reading in and and do shop, right? Yeah. It is reading. That first time uh, oh our in um, sangha member and looking and refuge and helpful. And one day you. Uh, yeah, okay. I time on. On time. <laughs> in good, isn't that's good. Thank you. Is she Namgyo? Namgyo is in that Lama now said this Namgyo monastery, right? Yeah. Actually, Namgyo Mars is your one. This is yeah. deities in long life. Deities. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is actually. Yes, sad. yes. Yeah. Thank you, sir.
Yeah, maybe that's, I'm glad Geshe put that out. So Nam Galma, you know, that that's a, a wonderful initiation that Jada Rimshe has done, like Land of Medicine Buddha. Yeah. Nam maybe we should have him do Nam Galma here. Yeah. yeah. So she has, uh, you know, what, eight arms? Many, eight. Oh. She has a lot. Yeah, eight, yeah. six arms. Six, six okay, arms. six, yeah. So, yeah. So long like three days in uh, Ayush. Yeah. And uh, white yeah. and Nam Yeah. 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 So do some research on Nagyama too. Yeah, of course. I just uh, was thinking here of your dedication to practice, you know, diligence, right? And that then will be victorious. Yeah. Okay. So we should uh, close with dedication, right? <clears throat> Omo araya pazaya na indi Om araya pazaya na